Yeah, so actually uh, this photo here uh, is uh, one I took about my project on the beach now. He's the first ecologist. Actually, it's a community which lives in harmony uh, and integrated uh, what we call today sustainable development since the 15th century. And those people living in a tar desert in, Ra in India, Rajasthan, uh, really live in harmony with wildlife and uh, nature. They share the water and uh, the crops with wild animals. So it's really integrated since the 15th century. So I'm really proud to be here in Geneva and to be part of this Green Cross exhibition. I'm also, I became ambassador through this story, ambassador of Green Cross France, which is uh, for me very important to, to spread uh, those ideas, to inspire people through images and through text, uh, videography also. So um, for me, it's something very important to be here. Geneva is one of the, the center of the United Nations and uh, it's a place to be, I think. I was really impressed by the exhibition. Just I've seen it today, and uh, it gives a good range of different aspects of Green Cross, the project of Green Cross, and um, it's on a it's a nice location here near the lake, in the center of Geneva. It's K. Wilson, right? And uh, it's just uh, amazing to be here. Like uh, many people are walking by, and I hope will be inspired and support also Green Cross for the actions. This work it was an assignment from a magazine and we decided to, to produce a three story about what are the issues in the world. The first one was a story about a dam in Turkey, the second one in France, the fight between the the public and the private system for the water distribution and the third story was in Ghana about the work of uh, Green Cross uh, to provide uh, water access in villages uh, so this was um, this scene was in a village where uh, Green Cross uh, built an access for, for water for the people and um, so those people was living before without uh, access in, in, in for water and the children had to walk far away to get to bring back water to the village and uh, so uh, we try to show how the, um, to have an access inside the village change the life of the people especially the children because they are they, you know they don't have to, to walk a long way to bring back many times a day some some water to their parents and because uh, nice to take picture but the best thing is to show the picture to show the work to the people and, and to to explain you know it's exactly why I'm doing this work I like to travel and to to, to see and to understand situation different situation in the world and to bring back the story to my to my country and to try to explain in, with uh, images and text uh, different situation and different issues in the world you know, we have so easy access to water that, that we don't think that it's so... If you don't have water, you, you, there is many things that you cannot do. You cannot wash, your, wash yourself, you cannot drink. And, uh, and uh, we, we, in our country, we forgot how it's important to have water because we are so used to, to have uh, uh, easy access to water. And, uh, you know, it's the most important thing in the world to... to, to life to have water so and uh, many population have um, a difficult access to, to this resource. So the CTBT are the comprehensive nuclear test ban trick he completely outlaws testing of nuclear weapons and Part of that treaty was the establishment of the International Monitoring System, a global network of monitoring facilities to make sure that countries are not testing nuclear weapons. Um, so what we've got here is an infrasound station in Kanak, Greenland, and this technology is used to detect atmospheric nuclear tests. Well, the network as it stands serves as a deterrent to countries 
testing weapons. If they make a test, then everybody knows about it. Oh, it's a privilege to be able to contribute to a work um, you know, which addresses a whole variety of important environmental and humani humanitarian issues. So, yeah, it's nice to be a part of that. Uh, Les Voyageurs de l'eau, and it translates in English as Water Travelers, was a project I did with a friend of mine, Lionel Goujon, and we decided to travel for one year around the world to document water issues. So we tried to meet people fighting against challenges related to water, maybe they lack water, maybe their water is polluted, maybe the, the wetlands are disappearing, and we met those people to try to understand what they do and to share those discoveries with people in France. So we wrote articles for a French newspaper and then we uh, took a lot of pictures. This is one of them coming from the, the, the jungle in, uh, in uh, Colombia. And, uh, and basically we want to share now all these discoveries with people um, all over the world. Now in Geneva, thanks to Green Cross International, but also in France through our book, through uh, conferences and through other photo exhibitions. There are a lot more people today than there was in the past uh, centuries. There are today 7 billion people living on this earth and each one of us tends to consume more and more water. Not only of course to drink or to wash ourselves but also because we consume a lot of virtual water that is, that is uh, inside the food we, uh, we intake. So it's, it makes both the, the population getting bigger and the individual consumption getting bigger. It makes for a big challenge is to, because we have to do with exactly the same uh, quantity of water that has been on Earth for uh, millions of years. So we have to uh, share this water in a better way and maybe to each one of us consume less water. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be part of the exhibit. Uh, there are a lot of great photographers coming together to bring, each of them brings one's own experience related to water. Uh, and, and I think it's great to show to the people of Geneva that uh, we have to yeah, give humanity a chance but also give nature a chance. We have both to uh, improve the situation as far as uh, water, clean water uh, provisioning is concerned but also to improve the, the, the protection of the resource because this resource will one day be the one be used by, by human beings or by nature. So we have to take care both of nature and, and human beings.